Oh, this is good. Can I tell an anecdote? Please. Okay. So um, when I say there's no separation in my life between my work and my life, so to speak, I had a dream last night. It was, I would call it a nightmare. And it's the occasion of the nightmare was that I had a headache and the headache comes from a pinched nerve in the neck that I'm suffering from, which makes it hard for me to sleep comfortably. And in the nightmare, I was in a, I live in Honolulu. I was in a high rise. I look out over high rises uh, in Waikiki and I was in one of them on the 22nd floor. And I was looking down at, at the beach at Waikiki and I was seeing these 20 foot waves washing over the beach and the structures that were there in my view. <sighs> and then as the dream progressed, a little bit later in the dream, there was water that was flowing over the, uh, we call it a lanai, the- um, Balcony. Balcony, there we go, okay. So uh, there was water lapping over the balcony. Ocean, I don't know if it was ocean water coming in or if it was, and then I called my, my, my housemates, my roommates, and one of them opened the door and the water comes rushing in, you know? And it's like, and then the building starts to sway. Now, when I woke up and I looked at the dream, 22nd floor, they estimate 10 feet per story. That put me 220 feet in the air. It's estimated that if all of the ice on the planet, the Himalayan ice pack, the Antarctic ice pack, if all the ice on the, all the glaciers, if they all melted, it would put about 210 feet of ocean rise. Just so a my couple dream years away. was scientifically accurate. I was at sea level. I was in a building on the coast at 220 feet in the air, and the water was beginning to run over my balcony, my lanai. Sounds like a nightmare. Well, it, it, what can I say? It was a highly symbolic dream, but it was mathematically correct. Mm -hmm.